Holy Spirit, come. Anoint this song once again and protect it and spread it according to your will. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to sing you an original song that I began writing during the time that I was a nighttime janitor working alone, had the opportunity to do spontaneous worship every night at work while cleaning the tire shop in Placero. And um, later left on a radical faith journey pursuing Jesus and the roots of my faith and in the process of walking in the spirit I met some youth from the YWAM organization in the middle of worshiping at the hospital up in Reading just standing in front of the hospital and we collaborated right there spontaneously on the spot so uh, this song is a collaboration between the Holy Spirit me and four awesome kids from Youth with a Mission who will uh, get the written credit as soon as I type out all the details of everyone's names involved. That's the backstory, and um, I just pray, God, that you would speak through me, that I would fade into the background, that your song would spread like you want it to, that your people would sing this song, that this would be a prayer from the heart for people to return to you, to be reconciled to you, to be able to abide in you and remain in you and be connected to you in relationship with you, Lord, especially anyone who has been led astray or deceived by a false gospel or unbelief. Father, I just pray back your word to you that you are turning our hearts to the Father. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Oh, let your people be, oh, let your people be, oh, let your people be plugged in. Oh, let your people see, oh, let your people see, oh, let your people see again. Oh, let your light shine before men. Let your salt purify them. Let your Shekinah glory, Hosanna story, rush in like wind. Let your Holy Spirit purify her, touch and inspire and ignite a new desire in your people to win. Oh, let your people win. Oh, let your people win. Oh, let your people be. Oh, let your people be. Oh, let your people believe in him, the maker of all things, the creator of all beings, the ruler of all kings, the lover of all kin. Oh, let your revival begin. So, that's not what the song is supposed to sound like, but I didn't want to interrupt it. It's going to take a lot of repetition for anyone to learn this song, especially on the second verse. It's kind of crazy with those two lines. Um, I'm going to say it for you so you guys can help uh, yourselves learn it and sing along. It's three verses. Verse 1 and verse 3 mirror each other. Verse 2 is different. So in the first, it's like, Oh, let your people be, times three, plugged in. In the third verse, instead of be plugged in, it switches to believe in him. So we're praying in verse one for people to be united with the source of power in relationship with Jesus Christ. In the second verse, we're asking for God's power to literally come among us and save us and purify us. 
And then in the third verse, we're praying that people would believe that there is a creator and humble themselves to his sovereignty. So I want to do this again with the hopes that this time it will sound the way that it usually sounds when I'm not recording. <sighs> Last time, I promise. Oh, let your people be. Oh, let your people be. Oh, let your people be plugged in. Oh, let your people see. Oh, let your people see. Oh, let your people see again. Oh, let your light shine before men. Let your souls purify them. Let your Shekinah glory hold an a story. Rush in like wind. Let your Holy Spirit purify her, touch and inspire, and ignite a new desire in your people to win. Oh, let your people win. Oh, let your people win. Oh, let your people be. Oh, let your people be. Oh, let your people be, leave in him, the maker of all things, the creator of all beings, the ruler of all kings, the lover of all kin. Oh, let your revival begin. Thank you, Jesus. God calling me to be a gospel songwriter by no means that my voice <laughs> is up for the task. I clearly have a lot of practice to do, a lot of things to learn. But most importantly, to God be the glory. <laughs> I promise that was the last time, so later. <laughs>